We kick off our top 20 countdown with the Wildcat women's soccer team. The Cats were able to extend their postseason run to 12 straight America East tournament appearances and hosted Stony Brook at Lewis Fields on October 23rd. Under the guidance of new head coach Sam Lopes, the Wildcats will look to make it 13 straight playoff appearances this fall. The ultimate goal is going to be can we consistently compete to win the America East. Um, I think that's achievable. I think the philosophy that we have within the program supported by the vision of the department, the support staff we have, uh, I think UNH has the opportunity to do that year in and year out. On March 9th at Penn State, the UNH gymnastics team scored a 49.425 on floor exercise to shatter the school record. Kayla Gray led the way with a career high 9.925. Teammate Austin Fogues equaled her personal best with a 9.9. Anna Burrill and Janelle Minicello also contributed with career-high scores of their own. The Wildcat volleyball team started off America East Conference play with a perfect 4-0 mark. That included seven straight wins overall and a road victory over eventual conference champion Binghamton. The Wildcats put together back-to-back -to -back sweeps of Providence and Dartmouth amid a span of eight straight set wins. Morgan Thatcher led the Cats in kills in each of the seven victories. No good. Rebound by uh, Rhodes. He's about to break up ahead. It comes to Conan. Two-handed dunk. Showtime at Lundholm Gym. In front of a senior day crowd at Lundholm Gymnasium, the men's basketball team completed a season sweep of Maine for the first time since 1994-95. Ferg Myrick led the charge. He scored a career-high 27 points, including 22 after halftime. Chandler Rhodes and Patrick Conan added 13 points apiece. On April 17th at Cowell Stadium, the women's lacrosse team helped secure an America East playoff appearance with a 13-12 win over Boston University. Jenny Simpson and Nicole Grote recorded three goals apiece, leading the Wildcat offense. Cats never trailed in the contest. A late surge by the Terriers was stymied by Amber Cassiano's goal with 20 seconds remaining, which sealed the triumph for the Wildcats. Follow our top 20 countdown throughout the month as we lead up to the number one moment from the 2012-2013 Wildcat season. For more information, log on to unhwildcats.com.